Heck yeah. We're comparing the new Sony XM5s against Apple's AirPods Max. Hey everyone, and welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, I implore you, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. The Sony WH-1000XM5s, or XM5s as they're commonly called, have recently launched, and I'm going to be comparing them in this video to Apple's AirPods Max. So we've got the AirPods Max, the XM5s, going to walk you through basic things like specs and design, and then we'll get into some audio quality tests later towards the end. Use the chapter markers down below if you find them helpful. Otherwise, let's go and jump into this. Before we get into the actual comparison, I had to say again, I love the way Sony does this packaging. This is entirely plastic free, it is all paper, and it looks pretty darn sleek. These look great. I am so excited that they've been upgrading to this packaging style. We've seen in their recent like earbuds and other headphones. So yeah, props Sony. These things look incredible, even in the box. Starting off, we're gonna hit up the design, and it's already apparent because Sony's come in this hardened fabric case that actually protects the entire headphones versus Apple's kind of little strappy bra type thing that the AirPods Max are bundled with. So if you're looking for something more protective, it's nice that Sony includes this whole cover for its headphones. That said, the Sony's are also made out of plastic and possibly more prone to breakage versus the AirPods Max that are stainless steel and aluminum. So these are the new XM5s. They look incredible to me. I love the way that Sony redesigned these headphones. They're now four grams lighter, which is immediately apparent as you pick them up, especially when you compare them to the XM4s. So yeah, the XM5s have a great new look. They're also using the new synthetic leather on the ear cups. They feel very soft, but I think I can tell that it's more of a synthetic leather. It just doesn't feel maybe quite as nice as an actual leather does, but still, they are very good looking headphones and I've been wearing them for a little bit. They're really, really comfortable. One of my biggest problems with Apple's AirPods is while they're nice and they're comfortable, they're a bit heavy and it starts to take its toll on you after wearing them for a long time. So I think that's one point here in favor of the XM5s. For controls, the AirPods Max have a couple buttons on them. There's a digital crown type thing that you can press as well as rotate to control the volume, and there's one more button there towards the front. The XM5s on the other hand, they do have some buttons, but it's primarily gesture based. There's also the accompanying app that goes with the XM5s where you can control things like A and C levels. Apple still uses Lightning to charge the AirPods Max, which is a bit of a divisive choice because a lot of iPhone owners do have Lightning cables around, but at the same time, a lot of people use wireless charging to charge their iPhones, and Lightning cables are not as prevalent as they used to be. Instead, I kind of would prefer that Sony or Apple had gone with the USB-C port, which is what we have on the Sony XM5s. And if we look at battery life, the XM5s still have a 30 hour battery life, which is what the XM4s have. Apple only has 20 hours of battery life with ANC on here on the AirPods Max. One of the new features of the XM5 is a fast charge mode. So previously with the XM4s, you could charge for I believe five minutes and get, or 10 minutes and get five hours of battery life. The XM5s, you can charge for three minutes and get three hours of battery life. So I think it's awesome. Three minutes plugged in and boom, you've got three hours of charge. Leave it in for 10 minutes and you get five hours of charge. Really appreciate the new fast charging mode on the XM5s. So what about audio quality on these two sets of cans? This is again going to be a bit of a personal preference for people, I think. The Sony's have always had really good audio quality and it's only got better with the XM5s. Sony does have an all new processor on the inside as well as an all new audio driver. So I think audio quality has improved over the XM4s. And really there's a lot of detail in the music that you're hearing, especially as we get into the higher register. They sound great, but the AirPods Max have just a bit more bass. And at times I felt like the AirPods Max had a larger sound stage and it felt more intimate with the music. You felt like you were kind of closer but a wider stage at the same time. It almost felt like these were, were popular or a little bit brighter in their music with that added bass as well. So between the two, I do prefer the sound of the AirPods Max. 
I know not everyone's going to agree, and I swear I'm not just liking the sound here because I like Apple gear. I really do prefer how these are tuned versus the Sony's. These are not bad by any means, and these probably should sound better because they have a $150 more price tag. So these should sound better between the two. I thought it'd be neat to listen to some audio samples of these headphones. So I'm gonna play some royalty music on both these guys and the XM5 and mic them up and see how they actually sound. Now don't forget there's compression going on and microphone quality and all of that, but it gives you a good idea at how these sound in similar environments. For ANC, I think Apple is missing out here. Apple does have very good ANC. It's, it's solid, but it's on, off, or transparency mode, and that's it. Whereas on the Sony XM5s, it's adjustable, so you can control the level of ANC that you're applying, which can be a little more comfortable if you have to turn it down a little bit, and it doesn't take as much battery life if you can turn the ANC to a lower level because of your environment. So I like that you can control that level of ANC. Additionally, you can control the versions of transparency mode as well. There's like waiting mode, like if you're at an airport and things like uh, intercoms and speakers and stuff can come through, but other background noise will be, you know, blocked out. Similar modes for when you're walking down the street, it can kind of tailor what's let in based on where you are. And I love that. So I think the versions of transparency mode as well as ANC are better here on the Sony's XM5s versus what they are on the AirPods Max, possibly just because of the level of customization and uh, configurability that Sony has enabled. Let's go ahead and listen to the microphones with some audio recordings on both. Here's the built-in microphones on the Apple AirPods Max. And here is the built-in microphone on the Sony WH-1000XM5. Here is the AirPods Max audio. Check out Apple Insider on YouTube and AppleInsider.com. Here is the XM5 audio. Check out Apple Insider on YouTube and AppleInsider.com. So I'll let you guys judge what you prefer in terms of audio quality from these headphones. I think they both did a decent job, but you kind of still needed a dedicated microphone if you want any level of good microphone control. So that's it. That's pretty much the comparison between these two guys. If you want to break down the Sony XM5's win for ANC, transparency mode, battery life, and maybe overall design or weight, the AirPods Max, on the other hand, I think win out in terms of maybe feel, construction, because they are metal and feels like a better premium product. At the same time, I also prefer the audio quality and the simplicity of setup across Apple's ecosystem with the AirPods Max. But day to day, I think I would prefer to listen to the XM5s. Not only are they cheaper, but they're just lighter and more comfortable to wear for extended periods of time. I want to wear the AirPods Max when I'm listening to something with spatial audio, which I think is incredibly cool with these headphones. Whether it's watching a movie in Dolby Atmos or just listening to spatial audio music. I think it's a killer feature here for the AirPods Max and one of the biggest reasons to get them. But it just depends on how and where you're going to be utilizing these headphones. Again, AirPods Max come in at $150 more than the XM5s. So be sure you know what you're getting before you pick them up. That said, if you want to grab a set of AirPods Max or the Sony XM5s, I've got links for them both down below in the description. I've started trying to find deals on each of these headphones, so grab them while you can. Let me know your preference down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I've got a lot more videos coming your way.